case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1951 Utah Supreme Court case State v. Jensen, the defendant appealed a second-degree murder conviction, claiming insufficient evidence of intent or causation. The victim was fatally assaulted after the defendant had previously threatened to kill him. The attack, which involved violent blows from the defendant's fists, led to the victim's death within two hours due to severe injuries, including a deep gash in the mouth. The jury was instructed to consider whether the defendant intended to kill, cause great bodily harm, or perform an act that would likely result in death or harm. Their verdict indicated they believed there was enough evidence to meet the requirements for second-degree murder. On appeal, the court upheld the original decision, asserting that the defendant's actions were a fatal assault and battery against the victim. Despite the defendant's claims of insufficient evidence regarding intent and causation, the court affirmed the second-degree murder conviction, citing the violent nature of the attack and the defendant's prior threats as evidence supporting the guilty verdict. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.